Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Gang Mod. Yeah, this is a new company looking to make a big, bad <laughs> impression for their first unit here, and I think that is what they're trying to do. It looks like a set of brass knuckles. They do have a chrome version. This is the black version. Pretty uh, wicked looking, huh? <laughs> so if you're interested in this, I went ahead and provide the links below. Um, it is uh, gangmod.com, and it runs for... It, it's a little bit steep. It's uh, $249.99. However, uh, because you are a viewer of the Gear Obsession channel, if you use the code GEARGANG10, you'll get 10% off. So that that's about $25. So that's pretty good. So if you're looking for a mod that um, will get you some attention, especially in some places, which we need to talk about, um, this could be the, the cool mod for you. Now, not everybody can order this. Unfortunately, because of our laws and state laws, specifically state laws, this can't ship to certain states. Specifically, the in the description box below I went ahead and listed all the states that are listed on the gang mod site also of where they can't ship and it's a long list I don't want to bore you to death so take a look there before you go ahead and order I went ahead and put everything back in here just so you could sort of take a look how it would come and there is the box by the way I already took the um, instructions out and they also give you a nice cleaning rag, which I didn't use before I put this in, because I've been using this ever since I got it uh, a couple of weeks ago. So here is your mod, and it is heavy. It's a big chunk of aluminum. <laughs> um, pretty impressive looking. And you also get these nice CNC engraved plates, and you get two of them. Let me see, they are listed as uh, Street Art Design and Samurai Warrior. And this is the Fumi Art, uh, the uh, Fumi Vapor um, logo right there. And by the way, Fumi Vapor also makes juices, so we'll go ahead and talk about that too. So this mod is uh, obviously not friendly to certain states. It's also not friendly for like airports and bus buses and, and probably most places in public. I think the best place for this would be in your home or maybe some private vaping competition in you know in a private in a private place where you might want to uh, sort of put some fear in the competition. However you don't want to put the fear in anyone in public. So here's the top, here's the bottom, negative, positive. It uses a single 18 650 battery. We'll go ahead and pop that in there. Um, again, as uh, always, you want to use a battery that is safe. I'm using this uh, uh, EFES Purple guy. It, it's okay for light and medium, but it, when you get up there in the really high voltages, um, you're going to need something better than a, a 35 amp peak kind of battery. So just keep that in mind. They safely. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one of these other plates on here. I want something cool. Which one should I put on? Um, I think I'm going to put this guy. No, you know what? Um, I'm going to put this guy on here. Now you can see it's held on magnetically. Really nice. And see how these plates, they have magnets in them? Or maybe steel pieces. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. But they stick to the magnets that are in here. See? Magnets right there. And on the plate itself, it has like a little nail nick right in there. So makes it very easy. You just pop it on there. Fits in there really tight. They did a good job CNCing this all out so that plate fits in there. It doesn't move and it's hard to come out. It's not like a lot of other mods where you touch it and it starts moving and shaking. It's actually done quite well. And then you have your very ergonomic grip. <laughs> that's the advantage of having something that's like a brass knuckle. You can you can hold on to it. You're not going to drop it, even though it has a, a pretty good conservable weight. It's a uh, 0.71 pounds. 0.71 pounds. So it's uh, pretty heavy, but it feels extremely comfortable despite its weight. You can see on the top here, you got your 510. You have airflow channels right there. Spring-loaded 510 pin right there. 
here you have your button, your fire button, and also uh, it does some other things too. I'll tell you, this button is very, very well done. You can see how it has a sort of a ring that's CNC'd in the body around that button. So, you know, if something were to hit it this way, it's not going to invertly set it off. However, your finger just goes in there, and it has a nice nice uh, feel. The only uh, thing I don't like about this button, although it feels really really good, is and this is with a lot of mods, 50% 50, 50 of the mods out there do this and I wish all of them did something else and that is you feel a click, okay? I can feel a click, you can see it didn't come on you gotta click and keep on going until you press it all the way in. Half the mods out there do that, not just this. It all depends on where they get the parts from, I guess, when they get the buttons. I prefer the ones that when it clicks, it goes. You don't have to bottom out the button. And that can change, actually, while you're using it, too. So, um, you know, you take that for whatever that is. That's just my opinion. Some people probably like it where they press it, they want to press it all the way down, and it fires. Okay, now, for some of you, this should look pretty familiar. Let me go ahead and hit this button again. Who can tell me who the manufacturer of this device actually is? Where, well, where it's built. Um, I'm going to bring someone in here. This is a, a mod that I had reviewed a while back by Camry. <laughs> so look, Camry. Look familiar? <laughs> uh, so they used the Camry Tech chip right in here. And Camry Tech, or Camry Technology went ahead and manufactured this for a uh, gang mod. So before I go down the specs, I just want to say, um, for those of you who are getting left out of this pretty cool deal, don't fret don't worry because they're going to come out with a more public friendly version of this a what i consider it a neutered version what they will call what what gang mod will call liberty and justice for all um it's it'll be basically they'll cut off the knuckles so you'll have sort of um like that you'll sort of have the grooves there so you have the benefit of the ergonomics and um you know where it'll feel good but you won't have these brass knuckles right here so although this looks cool look at the little spiders right there and by the way these look even better in chrome i think if i had a choice between the two i probably would pick the chrome so anyway let's talk about the specs real quick this is uh, made out of a big chunk of aluminum weighs 0 0.71 pounds it is five inches in length three point one four inches wide it is uh, again made by and has the chip uh, Camry tech battery is the 18650 and it's not included the power goes from 7 watts all the way up to 60 watts just like the the Camry 60 right here and you just use these up down buttons right there and they actually are in a very logical place because when you're holding it like this you could go ahead and do that even though most people are not going to be changing it while they're vaping and if you press it and hold it it'll go faster and if you just press it you could just do a tenth of a watt at a time just like that or you press and hold it and it just speeds up and starts going I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to about 30 watts because that's what I'm gonna be vaping here today right there Okay, again, it has a spring-loaded 510 copper pin right there. Oh, the uh, atomizer, low resistance will go from 0.2 to 0.9 ohms on the low side, depending on um, wattages and things you set. And this thing should go up to 9.9 .9 ohms. Now, I'm sort of guessing on that, because I haven't tried to put a 9.9 .9 ohm, but on the Camry website, the chip and the, and the electronics on Camry says it goes up to there, even though GangMa doesn't list that. So I could be in error, but I'm pretty sure that it will go up to about 9.9 .9 ohms on the high side. You have that large screen, just like you do on the Camry 60. It's very simple to use. I really like it. And we'll go ahead and go through the functionality of that here in a second. And the last thing I want to talk about is, again, you have these nice plates that I've already showed you. I, I, I like this one right here. Looks pretty cool, don't it? So before we go into the operation, I'll go ahead and just bring this around real quick so you can just take one last look. And you can see there's some vent holes for the battery right down there if you have any issues so it doesn't explode in your hand. And there's the top. 
And this device doesn't have like all the really, really fancy features like heat, uh, temperature control and, and Bluetooth and all that other stuff that a lot of other manufacturers <laughs> come out with. This actually has a, a very nice display that is uh, very simple to operate. And I really like that over the, the very highly complicated ones, quite personally. And for someone who might be new into vaping and wants to get um, something that's like this, this, this is simple, so it's easy to use. Um, also, um, I was talking with the owner, Joe, and uh, he had told me that there are also, um, probably, maybe, I hope I'm, I'm allowed to say this, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it, um, they might be coming out with a mechanical version also. Because uh, I know some of you might have thought, oh, this giant thing is only using one 18650 battery. Well, there's no space to get a second one in there, but if they go mechanical, um, maybe they can. I don't know if it's going to be a single or a double. I'm just speculating. So let's go ahead and uh, fire this up. In order to fire it up, you just go ahead and hit the button five times, the fire button. One, two, three, four, five. And there's the Camry thing right there and there we go to turn it off you're gonna do the same thing just see you just go one two three four five and she's asleep let's go ahead and wake her up again we'll do the five clicks wake her up I like how fast it comes up you don't have to wait a very long time now you can go in there and change a whole bunch of settings so I could go one two three and you get a menu and then you could use the up and down buttons right here to cycle through so you could go ahead and uh, power off on this menu you could change your vaping modes vaping modes is you have a manual mode I need to zoom in here so you can see this a little better there we go let's go ahead and get back into the menu hit that three times and we'll go down to the vaping mode and you can see you have manual and then you have all these different seconds and you could go ahead and run down and change it and what that'll do is it'll sort of put it in an automatic fire mode where you'll press the button uh, quickly and it'll just go for whatever amount of seconds and then cut off so maybe maybe useful for new vapors and you could go ahead and put your date and time in there you could put your puff reset because it does puff uh, counting uh, standby mode uh, or standby time and your puffs set so I'm gonna go ahead and let this go back um, to sleep here in a second in a minute <laughs> and I just wanted to show you the menu real quick you got your battery you got your ohm reading for your coil and you got the uh, volts your puff counter is in there the amount of wattage it, uh, it's running at your date time things like that I think that's also a puff counter there you can see it's complaining about no atomizer and it gives you a little tachometer um, let's go ahead and put a tank on here I have a sub tank mini I found looks really cool on this because it matches the, the black color and I happen to have a black Kanger sub tank doesn't that look really cool on there I think they go together like peas and carrots don't you think <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, take a reading here you can see what my coil is 0 0.6 right there so the battery voltage besides getting a, an indicator how full it is it says 4.1 volts it says 0.6 ohms 4.1 8 volts it's what it is given the tank based on the 30 watts right there and you can see every time I click the puff let's see what it's doing here I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button and you can see this little second counter so that would have been a two second hit right there and right there is the puff counter so I just counted as five let me go ahead and zoom in there so you can sort of see that a little bit better so you could watch this little indicator right here and as I press the button it gives you how long it's been firing right there and this under where it says 30 watts max underneath it it's the puff counter so you can see it just went up to 8 now it's going to go to um, 9 right there so that's your puff counter there um, puff counters I don't know I, I could leave them no, you know, I'd rather have a cleaner screen to have that in there. It's kind of useless to me. But for new vapors, maybe they want to count. Or if they're somebody who's trying to quit smoking and is trying to regulate the amount of nicotine they're taking in, that can be important. So it's nice that the feature's there for someone. But, um, you know, not I'm not very interested in it. So let's go ahead and try this out. I really think it's funny that they asked me to review this 
<laughs> because I just don't look like somebody that would um, use this. But for, you know, as you get older, everything gets sore and, and arthritic and whatever. And I'm getting there. You know, I'm over 50 now. And um, there are times where I might be... Sorry about it. You know what that means? That means uh, pre-football is coming on right now. And I'm a Green Bay fan. All right. Uh, I'm, I apologize for that. So, you know, you, you, it's hard to, like, hold up heavy things. <laughs> this is pathetic when you're reviewing a gang mod. Um, so, be, because of the design, it, you, you're you not going to drop it as easily. I kind of like that. So, hey, even for old people like me, um, this is pretty cool. And then if anybody goes on my lawn, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Um I'll point out one more time, if you get this and you're in a state that can get it, be responsible, don't give vapors a bad name, we're already having a hard time. States and the federal government just want to jump on just regulating the crap out of everything, so do, do yourself a favor, do us a favor, and vape responsibly, and keep this in the house or on private property, out of public view, regardless if it's legal or not. I, I'm just, my that's my opinion right there. So. I'm going to go ahead and try this. So you just saw the settings right there. And again, the uh, not a not a superb tank by any means, just a regular Kanger um, sub tank, but it just looks good on there. And it works perfect, just like the uh, Camry 60 worked. Where'd you go? <laughs> um, what I'm vaping right now is Hipster Elixir. They, they asked me to review their stuff and the website never came up. So I don't know if they're gone or they, they're still under construction to have trouble getting things together, but this is a coffee flavor, but in another tank that I have, um, that I had just reviewed recently, I'm going to go ahead and grab this tank. I do have a very interesting and new juice. So let's go ahead and pop this one on. And this one's silver. I didn't want to start out with it because I wanted to show you what a black one would look on there. And this one is also um, 0.6 ohms, so I'm going to leave everything the same. keeps on going. It hits, it's hitting good. What I'm vaping here is something really, really good. And it's by Fumi Vape. <laughs> Which is uh, the same group here that's putting together the gang mod. And they have four juices right now. And they hit my um, my sweet spot. The, um, where is it? The DLTA. They have their own line of juices. They have four. One of them wasn't ready, so they sent me three. And I'm just going to talk about just the one right now that I've tried. So the DTLNA is a cola flavor. And I it's one of my all-time favorite flavors. I could vape the crap out of cola uh, every, every day. And I like the bottles. First of all, they have a... You know, built first of all, it's childproof, and you know, you break the seal, which is good. Has a built in dripper right there. Um, and again, did I say it was childproof? It also they have a expiration date on there, and they have um, ingredients clearly listed. Uh, born and raised in the USA, nicotine level very small, writing very hard to see right there. Um, I wish that was a little bit bigger, but, um, and they have a, a code here, hopefully that, that's a lot number of some sort so they could go ahead and track things. They, they're doing everything very responsibly here, but the important thing is that this tastes really, really good. Um, flavor, intensity, and vapor production are a hit and a hit, so this is one of my favorite juices because it's cola. It's actually a cola and a... Um, um, cloud of cold frosty cola that satisfies your all day 
vaping crave. They also have um, the let's see Tokyo. Tokyo is sweet. Uh, I'm not going to say that middle word on camera, <laughs> but it t has a melon kind of taste to it. And this one is Venice Beach. Venice Beach is a berries kind of flavor. And they also have a Hollywood, which is like a mango, guava, melon kind of flavor. So the other ones are all kind of fruity. So you're going to be in your gang mod. Be in your gang mod with your fruity <laughs> vape. It's kind of strange. Really, really good. So, um, they gave me a lot of notes to cover, and quite frankly, um, I hate having to stick to anything. I like to freestyle, gangsta style, you know. But I, I think I really covered everything. And again, the, the, the main thing is just stressing, and you're probably going to hear this in every gang mod review, you know, stressing the responsibility of carrying around a set of brass knuckles. Now, I like everything I went over everything I like about this there are a couple of things that um, are the cons that I don't like and that is you know I prefer the buttons that you press all the way down and bottom out the other thing is the screen this whole thing is made rock solid you know like a brick and it, everything is tight and you know I like the plate doesn't move at all which is rare um, and every tank that I put on here works real good spring loaded 510 the connections seem to be good um, I like the button placement for everything. Everything feels right. But what doesn't seem quite right is they put a plastic, uh, it feels like a, a rather cheap plastic uh, cover over the screen. And I would have liked it. I would have liked it if maybe this is a harder glass and maybe if it was indented a little bit. It's sort of like exactly flush with the uh, case. I would have liked it um, maybe a little bit in, so it's less prone to getting hit if you put it down and maybe made out of something a little bit tougher than sort of a, a flexible, almost a flexible plastic. I mean, it's not thin, thin, but, you know, my personal preference would be something just a little bit thicker and, or maybe a little bit harder and flushed in, so a little bit of feedback right there. And, you know, this is a company's first product. And um, they're going to be tweaking things based on um, reviewers like me because we're the first to get this. You'll probably have to wait uh, two to six to eight weeks to get these because they are brand new and coming out. You can't get them anywhere else. No one's cloned them yet. Hopefully not. Um, they're not cheap, but you are definitely getting a, a solid, large, there's a lot of material here, so, um, you know, it's expensive uh, to have a big chunk of aluminum like that built for you. And it's CNC'd very well. Everything looks very, very nicely done. So, I recommend it. I recommend it. It's pricey. It's a very hard recommend. But if, uh, if you're a vapor that has some money and you want to make an impression privately, <laughs> this is it. Where's my Kanger? I like the... I like the the black one here on top of this one. Now, of course, they have the uh, chrome aluminum one, which would look great on the chrome version. I'm not blowing right. You know, I'm not a professional uh, cloud chaser. You know, you're supposed to There you go, there's your big cloud, just so you, should, you can see it's capable of it. Okay, so highly recommend it. Go ahead and check the links below. Go ahead and check the description box for the specifications for the states that are, they're, it's legal or not legal to ship. So you have all that up front and check out uh, gangmod.com. And also, I'll put the uh, fumivapor.com if you're interested in the juice. Check them out. Um, great products. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.